Hi there! Today I will walk you through on how to create your first automation sequence in Sendfox. Log into your Sendfox account. The first step you need to do is to create a list to trigger the automation. Go to Lists. Click on Create List. Add a title to the list. Click Create List. Now you are ready to create your automation sequence. Go to Automation. In this tutorial, we will start with a blank automation. Click on New Blank Automation. Add your recently created list. Click OK. Add a title to the automation. Click Save. Click on the envelope icon to add your first email in the series. Edit your from name. Edit your from email. You can use your custom email here if you have validated your domain in Sendfox. We have a separate video on this. Add a subject line. Then enter your content. To personalize your email, you can add personalization tags to it. Click here for a guide. Remember that these personalization tags will only work if your contact records have those fields in their records like first name or last name. Use the several tools you find here to style your text, add hyperlinks, images, or buttons. Preview your email in desktop or mobile view by clicking here. Send an email to your own inbox by clicking here and adding your active email address. Templates are your smart campaigns, otherwise known as RSS feeds, which you can use as your email content. Tags allow you to add this newsletter to your feeds page. You can add a specific tag to newsletters to group them together. These tags can then be used to add to your feeds page. Remember to always click this button when writing a longer content. You will see a notification on the lower left side of your screen indicating that it has been saved. It is also where you will see notifications on steps you may have missed. Click on Back to Automation. You will then be taken to the dashboard of the emails in your automation. You will see here the date this was modified, how many are queued, how many are sent, what your open, click, unsubscription and bounce rates are. This is also where you could set your delay time. This is the number of hours that Sandfox will wait before sending out this email after being triggered into the automation or from the previous email. Type 0 here to set it to no delay. Click on the sub-trigger icon to add a sub-trigger. Select a sub-trigger. For the sub-trigger last email was clicked, a new selection will open up for you to select either any link or a particular link you may have added to your content. Select a different list you wish to add your subscribers to if the conditions above are met. Check this checkbox if you want them removed from this automation if the conditions above are met. Save the automation. Click the envelope icon to add more emails to this automation. Save the automation. Remember that the automation is triggered when someone is added to the list you have specified. There are four ways you can add context to your list. The first is by importing context into the list. Watch our video on how to properly import context into your lists. Second, by creating a smart page and linking the smart page to the list. Another way is creating a form and linking this form to your list. Lastly, if you have contacts being added to the triggering list via an integrated app. And that's it. You are ready to automate your emails now. For more information, you can visit our help section here or send us an email at support at sendfox.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.